Hello and welcome to ET Garage. Uh, today's video is going to be a quick fix vid uh, video. How to take out the slack in your uh, hood latch cables for opening the hood on a C4 Corvette. This should work with other vehicles too. In fact, I think I did it on a Chevy S10 I had. Uh, in fact, I remember if I remember correctly, I did. But the uh, same technique I'm going to use on here, and I'm going to show you why I'm doing it. And in the future, I'll be doing a video on replacing the cable altogether. I've never done one of these on a C4 Corvette, so it should be interesting. Hopefully, it won't be too difficult. But for now, for people who are lazy and don't have a bunch of tools and are looking for a quick fix, where the cable is just so stretched out that it won't open the barrel, one will not open the hood anymore. I am going to show you a quick fix that should work. It's the first time I'm doing it on a C4, but it should work. So, hang tight and I will show you what I'm going to do. Okay, as you can see, this is the uh, hood latch cable. There's one on each side on the C Ford Corvette, one on the passenger, one on the driver. And as time wears on, you have to take the slack out to adjust for uh, wear inside the, uh, the cable housing and the stretching of the cable itself. At some point, like mine, after 237,000 miles, you can't take any more slack out. It's, that's it. So, uh, there's a couple of ways to fix this, and I am going to show you how I am going to do it with washers. Okay, now uh, this is how I'm going to do it. Originally, I was going to put the washers here, and I could still do that. Or, but seeing this, I think I might be better off putting washers here. And it doesn't take a lot of washers, maybe one washer actually. In fact, like that. Yeah, maybe not. But uh, mine is at the point where it just barely opens the hood, so it definitely needs to be done. I'll probably put two washers. I think I'm going to put them in there. And how I'm going to get them in there is I am going to cut a slot in here and just slip it in there. And then if I want to, I can take a pair of needle nose and uh, crimp it together so it doesn't come off. Uh, let me uh, show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going to show you several different ways you could do this. I mean, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it in a vice with the Dream of Motor Tool, but I'm going to give you some other ideas. You could take the uh, washer and a pair of vice grips, and if it's an aluminum washer or a plastic washer, you wouldn't even need them. You can just take a pair of diagonals and go snip like that. In fact, if you have plastic, get a hold of plastic washers, it might actually be better. Uh, I don't have aluminum or plastic washers that I know of. I probably actually do. I just have to spend hours looking for them. Uh, so I'm going to do it this way. These are really handable. Um, another way you could do is uh, take a little file and file through it. If it's a metal one like I have. And I'm going to switch the camera view and show you how I'm going to do it. So just hold tight. Okay, here you see the vise. Uh, you can take a nail or anything round, like I'm using the end of this file. And I just put four on there for now, four washers. If you have a vise, I think this, this is the best way, and you have steel washers. Like I said, plastic would probably be better. Uh, here we go. I'm going to open that up, slide them in there, close the vise. Voila. Next, I'm going to get my Dream Motor Tool. Okay, here's my Dream Motor Tool, and I'm just going to go like this and make some sparks. I think these hold together good, too. Okay, there I go. Now, I'm probably going to have to take a screwdriver and pry them open a little bit in order to get them to slide over the cable. Uh, so let me get a screwdriver. There we go, the screwdriver. Let's press it down. That seems to be working really well. And that should do it. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. We'll find out. If not, I'll have to put it back in the vise. Be careful, these may be hot if you do it that way. Okay, back over to the car and uh, we'll see how it makes out. Okay, here we are. Uh, 
at the hood latch and it slides over the cable real easy i'll test that first pull this out actually that's pulling it out enough that i think i can get away with one because of the way that's pulling that out i'd probably be better off with a bigger washer but i'm going to leave it just like that for now because this is a temporary fix i'll go to the other side do that okay both sides are done and i still don't really like the way this is sticking out that much the other side it was flush uh and worked a lot better so that's a little bit more than i like that being said i could i think this is actually broken yeah that's what it is this piece here is actually broken i think i don't know but anyway i did get it in there if i have to i could put it here in fact let's try that just to see how it works Hopefully I don't lose it. Yep, I lost it. I got another. And we'll stick it right there. Now, before I go ahead and crimp it on there, I'm just going to leave it. And I'll test fit the... Uh, I'll test the uh, mechanism, make sure it works fine. Yep, everything's working fine and smooth. Then I'll go ahead, close the hood, and we'll see if it opens. Okay, there the hood is closed, and now it's time to test it out. In the past, it was kind of iffy when I opened the hood. It was, uh, it would always open, but there are several occasions where I had to give it a little jolt. So uh, now with those washers in there, we'll see if it opens. There it goes. Just like that. Ta-da! That was easy. Um, if you don't want to change out your cables altogether, that's a quick way to do it and fix it. And uh, you don't have to worry about going through all sorts of rigmarole to get your hood open with different devices and whatnot. But uh, that being said, two things to keep in mind. Uh, let's just oh well, you know what let's just go over the pros and cons pros are it's quick simple easy and inexpensive the cons are that cable is over 30 years old like mine 237,000 miles might be close to getting ready to snap so uh, stretching it out a little bit more like that might make it worse and might make it more likely to happen so that's something to keep in mind uh, that being said, it might last like that forever. I just don't know. All I can do is try it, but uh, I still am going to install that new uh, cable at some point. Uh, I'll go over that in another video. And like I said, it's just a quick fix uh, for your C4 hood cables, hood latch cables. So, in the meantime, I want everybody to have a great day and God bless.